This is Bayview Park, colloquially known as Bayview Park in Onset, Massachusetts. It was established as that as part of an early land of land by the Onset Bay Grove Association in the late 1890s. Some of this land that you can see across the street, which is Prospect Park, is not part of that original plan and some of it is. It's all delineated but it's frequently confused as being all one piece. These lands were subject to a lawsuit in the early 1900s after the early developers, real estate developers, sounds familiar right, um, declared that they, you know, after they sold these people these house lots with all kinds of wonderful parklands to be forever parkland then decided after they had sold all the lots that they were going to take out the parkland and build more lots the people decided they would go to court to stop that and they were successful so there were the attorney general's office took that all the way to the Massachusetts State Supreme Court, Supreme Judicial Court, and they won. And that is what's commonly known as the Decree of 1916. So the pier is not the pier that was here at that time. This pier is built on the beach, which is also part of that decree. And there are some folks who will continue to tell you that this pier should not be here, that this is supposed to be beach that's open to everybody. We also had at some time in the past, over a number of different generations through different storms, hurricanes taking it down on the 30s and the 50s, what's known as the Onset Bathhouse. It was a wooden structure until a couple of months ago. Uh, ostensibly owned by the town. The town did not care for it or the land around it um, and it fell into disrepair. The town decided not to make any of their own repairs to that but they brought it to the town meeting as a quote rejuvenation of the bathhouse project in conjunction with the Buzzards Bay Coalition. They basically sold it to them for a dollar for 99 years. They leased it, they didn't sell it, they leased it. And when it turned out that we looked at the actual lease to that piece of property, that lease then included the beach that you see here, the bluff that I'm walking up now, which included this overhang here and in fact a part of this Bayview Park. None of that had been brought to the public for vote and in fact the decree of 1916 from the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court they actually prohibited that any sale, lease, or other transfer of any of these lands. So a lot of us felt that that was illegal and improper. And we filed a suit in October of, 19, of 2018. As part of the resolution of that suit, we settled on a new plan, whereas the town of Wareham would con continue to be the sole owner and there would be no lease of the bluff you're looking at now or the park and that there would be no additional building. As part of these discussions, they agreed, the Buzzards Bay Coalition, who's responsible for the construction here on the beach, that they would maintain and restrict to the original footprint of the building. And they insisted that they needed some uh, ADA access and that they would be accessing part of this 
sidewalk. Well, what you're seeing here goes well beyond just accessing that sidewalk. Also, there was a lot of consternation about the height of the building. This view has been a, a right for a number of these houses behind you as part of their deeded rights for a very long time. And that view is now being obstructed. So it's ongoing. The Conservation Commission insisted that the lawn that was taken out to make this concrete pad was not here, but clearly it was. Do not understand the town's continued obfuscation, to put it mildly, out and out lying otherwise. To make this happen, yes, it needed to be refurbished. Yes, there was money given, $250,000, to maintain the historical features of the original bathhouse, but then the bathhouse was completely demolished. So therefore, there are no historical features that were maintained. Um, the Buzzards Bay Coalition now owns a great deal of what you can see in front of you. A great percentage of Onset's land, as a matter of fact. Um, so, it's ongoing. The town will not have access to this building for 99 years. If Buzzards Bay Coalition pulls out, the town becomes responsible for it. And uh, it's an ongoing situation. But we have tried to tell the townspeople from the beginning that this was not what was agreed to. This was not what went before the town meeting. And in fact, that's what came to pass on every level.